So, what up guys, I'm back with another video, and we're going to go ahead and go over on how to root an old cattail when the wind touch this. So what we first need to do is, um, we have to go to settings, we need to go to about phone, and we need to enable the development options. Now I can tell you, I already have mine enabled, so I'll tell you how to enable yours. We're going to go all the way down to kernel, we're going to click it seven times. I thought it was kernel, it was build number, I don't remember, oh yeah. It's build number. And then you click it a couple times, no need, you're already a developer. And go back, and then we're done. Um, actually, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we need to go back to settings, developer options, and go to USB debugging. Okay. So the next time we put plug in our phone, we'll be able to use USB debugging and root the phone. So your phone's now ready to be rooted. Now we need to go over on the process of rooting. Be back on my screen in just a couple seconds. Okay, guys, we're back with another video. We're gonna go over how to finish off rooting it. So we need to go and download Motochop, which is in the description bar, so you can guys can download it. But what we're gonna do, as you can see, Motochop is right there. Um, we needed to go to Windows R, run command prompt, go to this or. Obviously, we need to go to that location, so put in CD, paste in the location of the folder, and then we need to put in ADB devices. Okay. Okay, so if it doesn't detect the device, that means that we need to make it so it'll detect it by installing the drivers. So. Where you, need, where you need to go is to go to the website and go down on the drivers on uh, all can tell one touch figures um, support page so we just download the this driver or this driver I would not be able to tell you which one's which because I won't be able to tell you because I don't know which one you actually do need and which one you don't need so that's why I won't be able to tell you So right now we're just gonna do that. I got a 64 bit, so I'm gonna install in 64 bit mode. I was gonna say this is one really weird installer. And then there we go. Now it detects it, so we can so then we just run run that bat and then press enter. Start the rooting process. Okay, so now it's transferring the files. So, um, yeah, I've already have it installed, so, yeah, I'm already done, I already have it rooted and stuff, so that's why, that's why it says install failure already exists, so, anyways guys, press enter, and then your phone should reset, or restart, yep, and that's it guys.